some important things about IR and oceans and current affairs. First thing, BIMSTEC summit. The most important thing for IR students, BIMSTEC summit. Bay of Bengal initiative for multi-sectoral technical and economic cooperation. BIMSEC, Bay of Bengal Initiative for Multi-Sectoral Technical and Economic Cooperation. Basically, it was formed like Bangladesh, India, Myanmar, Sri Lanka, Thailand, Economic Cooperation. Later on, Bhutan and Nepal joined. Then the name changed into Bay of Bengal Initiative for Multi-Sectoral Technical and Economic Cooperation. Then the name changed. Basically, BIMSTEC was established to provide an alternative for SARC. Basically, BIMSTEC was established to provide an alternative for SARC. Because SARC is not functioning well. SARC is not functioning well. There are eight countries in SARC and SARC is not functioning well. The reason is India-Pakistan fight. That was the common opinion. For that reason, BIMSTEC was established. And recent summit of BIMSTEC was held at Kathmandu. The recent summit of BIMSTEC was held at Kathmandu, Nepal. And our Prime Minister, Mr. Modi, attended the summit. Trade connectivity, digital connectivity, transport connectivity like that, he spoke about various connectivities. Trade connectivity, transport connectivity, digital connectivity like that he spoke about various connectivities. And uh, last week there was a BIMSTEC uh, ministerial meet where we, they have discussed about future FTA, free trade agreement. Future free trade agreement. BIMSTEC is a bridge. BIMSTEC is a connecting point between ASEAN and SARC. We have Myanmar, we have Thailand in BIMSTEC, in BIMSTEC. So, other SAR countries and Thailand and Myanmar from Asian, that was a connecting point. BIMSTEC also will integrate the Asian countries in SAR countries in many manner, in many issues, tourism, trade, Fisheries, transport, cultural exchanges, to military exchanges, all these things are very popular in BIMSTEC. So, BIMSTEC is very important for exam this year. Particularly the recent summit, Kathmandu. Kathmandu summit. Next important thing, India got total 17 gold medals in Asia Games held at Jakarta. Held at Jakarta and 54 various medals. Rahi Sarnobath. Rahi Sarnobath becomes the first Indian woman shooter. Rahi Sarnobath becomes the first Indian woman shooter to win gold medal. To win gold medal. Next important issue is International Atomic Energy Agency IAEA. International Atomic Energy Agency IAEA declared that Iran have not violated any norms. Iran, even after imposing sanctions, reimposing sanctions, Iran still is abiding by nuclear deal terms. Iran is still abiding by nuclear deal terms. And you have recently Union Cabinet have approved O smart, O smart, S M A R T, O smart, and this belongs to Ministry of Earth Sciences. O smart is an umbrella program, belongs to Ministry of Earth Sciences. O smart is an umbrella program, belongs to Ministry of Earth Sciences. What do you mean by O smart? Ocean Services, Technology, Observation, Resources, Modeling, and Science, ocean resources, technology, 
observation resources modeling and science o smart you may get a prelims question o smart belongs to ministry of earth sciences ministry of earth sciences o smart very very important next important current affairs rbi recently gave a report on the effects of demonetization even today's newspaper money money and money the article have come in hindu editorial rbi told we all thought with demonetization black money will be eroded black money will be eroded but 99.3% of the money which was deposited in the banks after demonetization is not black money is not black money this is an important observation so we we have to do much more already government have done binami transactions act black money bill black money act all these things and we have to do much more to control black money in the society and uh, gaganyaan you all know isro unveils plans Un manned 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 there will be a man there will be a human being in the space mission by 2022 gaganyaan gagan yeah space mission by 2022 government constitutes 21 member prime ministers science technology innovation advisory council a new council was constituted science technology innovation advisory council with 21 members by the central government prime ministers science technology innovation advisory council you all know earlier we have a institution called ior arc indian ocean rim association for regional cooperation the name later on changed to iorc indian ocean rim countries and in the same way indian ocean countries ioc indian ocean countries had their meet recently on third meet at hanoi vietnam indian ocean countries they have met at hanoi vietnam there is a concept called blue economy what do you mean by blue economy blue economy means relating to ocean marine economy fisheries transport anything any resources from oceans all these things comes under blue economy blue economy is related to oceans this might be a question in films what do you mean by blue economy NASA's Osiris Rex spacecraft Osiris O S I R I S R E X Osiris Rex spacecraft was sent to study Bennu asteroid Osiris Rex spacecraft was sent to study Bennu asteroid NASA's Osiris Rex spacecraft have captured some glimpses of Bennu asteroid you may get a question what is osiris rex osiris rex was a nasa spacecraft for what to study bennu asteroid to study about bennu asteroid one fantastic news sweden have started feminist foreign policy Swe swedish government have started feminist foreign policy you can write this in some feminism all these things so swedish government have started feminist foreign policy apart from that power sector industries went to supreme court recently power sector industries went to supreme court asking a relief from the bankruptcy proceedings the thing is there was strict rules from rbi and the government that even one day delay will make the loan as npa even one day delay in repayment of the loan after 90 days will make the loan npa you all know 90 days if you don't pay principal or interest it will become npa non performing asset even one day delay power sector industries are facing crisis now they all went to went to court for relief court have denied any relief now npa resolution process 180 days 
and uh, bankruptcy insolvency code all these things will apply without any delay even for yes. power sector even for power sector industries and uh, these are the most important current affairs from last two days